Welcome to medica- meditation. I was about to say medication, but it's actually the same thing. Ah, how are you? Today's meditation is very similar or more of a takeoff of my Instagram post that I put up yesterday about judgment and walls up. A lot of meditations in the last few weeks, we've been looking at the observer voice. And again, the reason the observer voice is so important is because then we have a gap between us and the thought from the ego. We can actually work with it if there's a gap. So actually two parts to this meditation. One is doing the observer of that voice and seeing any judgment we have. And then the second part is forgiveness. Now you may hear some background music today. I got really guided to add it. So I was testing it. So fingers crossed it won't be too loud. But it was super low. So I'll refer to the post I did yesterday or to, you know, Saturday. <laughs> um, so if anyone's watching Wimbledon, which is not something I watch all the time, I'm not a huge sports fan. My husband is. So we'll typically have on sports a fair amount in the house. He loves it. He calls it his favorite reality TV show. So yesterday or on Saturday morning, um, the Wimbledon women's was playing. And I was on the couch in the morning watching it, drinking my tea and reading A Course Miracles. And during the game, there was a um, woman named Ons Jabor, who I think is African. And she's been trying for the championship for a while, has lost a few times. And she's basically, you know, taking on the weight of the world of like teaching Africans, Muslim women that, hey, you can do anything you want. So she's got a massive following. And then her competition was a non-ranked Czechoslovakian, which is unheard of in Wimbledon to have an unranked person. So I was going for Ons Jabor and watching the game. If you watched it, you saw in the first few games, um, you know, it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And they were breaking each other. He said to my husband, I can't watch this. This is too intense. Because really rooting for Jabor. You'll see where I'm going with this in a sec. And then I realized that in, in, in process of rooting for her, I was against the other person. I didn't really realize I was against it, but I started observing my thoughts. And I was like, why are you so good? Like, why are you shooting that? Like, oh, I was thinking every thought I could that was negative about her. And I observed that thought, which gave it, you know, when the thought is attached to you, it has power. When you observe it, it loses power. I observed and I thought, oh, that's interesting that I'm thinking that thought that the ego is grabbing that thought that there's something wrong with her. I don't know her from Adam. I know nothing about her. And then I thought about it. I was like, wow. And then I brought in forgiveness, which is the second part of this meditation. Forgiving myself for creating a separation and ideas about this woman who I have no idea. Forgiving my judgment, forgiving my separation. And in the moment that I forgave and just saw it, my solar plexus opened. And what that's reminding us is that as soon as we judge another, we're actually impacting our energy system, our chakra system. As soon as I judge or control somebody else, I'm actually clenching down on my solar plexus. I'm getting angry at that person, I'm clenching down on my second chakra. Like seriously, why would I spend my day judging somebody else? Because all it does is impacts my physical body and thereby my emotions, my well-being, and what I manifest. Oh, that's not fun. So go ahead and close your eyes. With your eyes closed, take slow, deep breaths in and out. Belly rises and belly falls. With your eyes closed, we're going to pull that breath up from the base of the spine, up the spinal cord for the count of five, and then going back down the spine for the count of five. It's called that pranayama breathing. Together, you and I exhale together and inhale for one two, three, four, five. Hold the breathing for the count of two and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold it for the count of two and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, one, two, three, four, five, hold the breath and exhale for five, four, three, two, 
One. Keep your eyes closed. Let your belly rise and fall. Allow your mind to get quiet. It's like those clouds in the sky. Going to that blue sky between the clouds as you breathe. As you breathe, let your breath get slower and longer, calmer and deeper. So that each breath you might re relax just a little bit more. Settling in to your body and becoming present. Inviting your divine support team, your guides, your ancestors, your angels. We're here to help you and support you through this meditation. They're here to aid you and support you as you do this process. That little blurb I said at the beginning, what we're going to be working on is judgment and separation. Remember, whatever we do to another, we actually do to ourselves. So let your mind think or imagine, let the first thought come in of that person you're judging, person you're separating yourself from, for whatever reason, doesn't matter why, but as soon as you think of them, a wall goes up, or you're like, oh, that person did this to me, or maybe you're afraid of them. So your mind, think of that person, not a big deal, and breathe. Whatever you're judging that person about is actually impacting your physical body. So on your next breath, let's move into the second part of the meditation. Here's the statement I want you to play with. Allow forgiveness to set me free. I am open to allowing forgiveness to set me free. Allow forgiveness to free me up and this person up. Allow forgiveness to set us both free and just breathe. As you breathe and keep repeating that sentence in your head, allow forgiveness to set me free. I want to bring your awareness to something. You're not asking yourself, how do you forgive? You're not getting mechanical about it. But you're just asking our guides, a higher self, Holy Spirit, please come. Allow forgiveness to set us both free. You're asking for help from the non-physical. Please, I'm ready to forgive. Allow forgiveness to set us both free because what I am feeling to them is like a boomerang and it's impacting me and only me. Allow forgiveness to set us both free. You don't need to think about what they did, what you did, your retaliation, how you're hurt. You're just asking your higher self. Allow forgiveness to set us both free and just keep breathing. On your next breath, I want you to see that person in your mind's eye in front of you. See your guides encircling you and seeing a golden light coming from your heart, entering their heart and from their heart back to your heart, from your heart to their heart and their heart to your heart. Allow forgiveness to set us both free. And just keep doing this. You're asking for help from non-physical. You're saying, I am done. My mind has no idea how to do this. But I know you can help. I'm willing to surrender. I'm willing to let go. As you continue to see the light move between the two of you. Dear higher self, please. I am ready. Allow forgiveness to set me free and just keep breathing. As you're doing this, you may notice 
sense, see, or feel. Other people, maybe from your family of origin. Other people that you're holding any resentment for st stepping forward to. Maybe there's a line of people showing up. It doesn't really matter. Imagine forgiveness between you and all of them. Allow forgiveness to set me free. I am open. Allow forgiveness to set us both free. I am ready to hold more love. To hold only love. I only want to hold love. I don't know how, but I am asking for help. Allow forgiveness to set us both free. What you may see as you're doing this, it's almost like that light exchanging back and forth between your hearts and everybody in this row of people who you're forgiving. It's almost like dark energy that you don't need is leaving both of your bodies. All the sadness or anger, resentment, you don't need it. You don't need to know why it's there. You don't know how it needs to tell me how it got there. It doesn't matter. Just seeing that forgiveness light go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There's nothing control. There's nothing to be angry about. There's no sadness needed. I allow forgiveness to set us both free. Take 10 or 20 breaths here. Now, if there's a lot of people in the lineup behind this person that you've just shifted the walls with, you might feel like you want to stay here longer. Because sometimes for a lot of people, they can actually feel this physically. Their solar plexus might open, their heart might open. They might feel less of a wall with that person. It's kind of a beautiful sensation. You're opening your energy body. You're clearing the karmic debt. And you're freeing yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And just breathe. As you continue to do this with everybody in line, you might stay here for a few minutes or maybe all day. And then when you think of that person, simply say the statement to yourself. I allow forgiveness in to set us free. I allow forgiveness to set me free. This is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful exercise. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Hope you have a beautiful weekend. Namaste.